When you play American style Mahjong, do you ever wonder if you made the right choice during the Charleston? I do an exercise that I call Charleston Chain Reaction. It kind of helps me test my instincts. But before we do that, if you're new to this channel, and if you're a beginner or an intermediate player and want to improve your game, consider subscribing. And when you do, click the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's get to this Charleston Chain Reaction. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. I'm going to say that we're the dealer, so I'm going to take 14 random tiles. And then I'm going to create the Charleston. This is a mock Charleston, so it's not going to be exactly like it would be during a real game. This is strictly for practice. I want to make sure that there are no jokers in here because you can't pass jokers. So I'm just going to take a quick peek. There's one. And then we'll just mix them up. This just simulates the Charleston. I'm going to take photos along the way so that we can recreate it and see if another option would be better a second time around. So let's see what we have to work with. So we have a pair of flowers, then we have a consecutive run in BAMs, a pair of nines, and some evens. The two, four, six, eight here looks interesting, but there are no sixes. So I don't think a two, four, six, eight is a good option. I think we should build around this pair of nines and the flowers. We could potentially play something either consecutive, something in big odds, five, seven, nine, or something in three, six, nine. Let's go ahead and pass these. I want to first take a photo of what we're starting with though. Okay, so let's pass. I want to make sure that we're going to pass something so that we have some good tiles to pass the second time through. If we pass maybe two, four, here's two separate passes. We could pass this the first time through and leaving us with maybe a decent second pass. Either one is going to be risky, but let's pass these and see what we get. Hopefully we'll get something for these. A pair of souths. Oh boy. That might be good joker bait. And here we have eights. You know what though? We need to take a photo first of that incoming pass. Okay. I was thinking that maybe something consecutive would be nice with these nines and we could just go ahead and break up the south. Let's focus on something consecutive or three, six, nine. Let's take a photo of that. So we have a nine and something consecutive. Let's just kind of put them together here. Seven, eight, seven, nine, eight. Let's pass these three. Take a photo. We picked up an eight. So I'm thinking still something consecutive seven eight nine maybe seven eight seven eight nine this would be the fourth hand down under consecutive run we could use these as joker bait let's go ahead and pass these three we've got a seven and a nine bam and one tile to pass 
I don't like passing flowers. I think flowers are very valuable, so I do everything I can to not pass the flowers. So we have to make a choice. We have seven, eight, nine, seven, nine. Let's see here. We could do seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. I'm thinking we should maybe give up the nine bam. We still could play something with five, seven, nine, big odds. Seven, eight, seven, eight. I really don't like passing flowers. And I, we have to pass three. So we have to make a choice. Let's go ahead and break up the seven. And that way we could play seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, even though we have a gap. And then also we could maybe play seven, eight, nine with flowers. There's a couple of options there. Let's pass these three. Let's take a picture of that one. We've got another flower and an eight. And then we have a one bam to discard. I'm thinking we could maybe play seven, eight, nine in mixed suits. That would be the third hand down. So we could, we're on our last right, we could pass one blind. And that way we could still maybe play seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Let's pass one blind. Okay, we didn't get a keeper there, but we can pass across. And I'm thinking, let's pass two. Oh, you know what? Let's take a, a photo. Okay, and this was the last. There, we got to make sure we recreate that last pass. So let's pass these two. Okay, so we've got options here. I'm thinking we could play seven, eight, nine in mixed suits, in which case we have five discards, really three discards with joker bait. So during the game, if somebody throws or just puts up an exposure with eight bams and a joker, we could maybe use these to get a joker in our own hand replacing the natural tiles for the joker. We could also maybe do seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle if we get a seven dot back. So let's go ahead and recreate this and see if there was something else that could have been done. Maybe three, six, nine. I think the other option was another consecutive seven, eight, nine. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna recreate this from the beginning. So I'll look through all my photos and set it up. This is what we started out with. I think a three, six, nine maybe, or something consecutive is what really looks to be the strongest. So let's recreate the Charleston now. All right, now, here we go. I still think something consecutive is gonna be the best. Let's pass. Either way, we're gonna be left with like numbers. Let's pass these three. There's an eight for something consecutive. We'll break up the south, pass these three. Seven, nine. This is where we gave up that three. Let's pass those three. There's an eight. Let's pass these three. There's a nine and a seven. So 
seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle. Let's see if that is a good one. Let's pass these two with the two bam. Eight. We're missing an eight dot, that's a gap. And we have three flowers and we're on our last right. We're gonna pass two blind. There's the eight dot. And we have three flowers to pass, but I'm not gonna pass any for optional cross. I would never pass a pair of flowers or even one if I'm this far away. So in this case, we have seven, eight, nine with pairs of eights in the middle. This would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run and we have three discards. This was the better option. Seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle. Either way, it was consecutive. So consecutive run was definitely the way to go. But I think this particular hand has a better outcome with all these flowers not being used. If you would have done something different, let me know. But consecutive run, I think, was the definite category for this random pull. If you have a Mahjong set at home, get it out and try Charleston Chain Reaction. This is a really great way to test your instincts and also to gain confidence in your decision making. Maybe try different categories that you're not used to and compare the results. Come back and let me know how it goes for you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you don't miss any videos that I post. You might learn some new strategies or pick up an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Chain Reaction, may all your picks be keepers.